I recently received these smart shades from Smart Wings that work with Apple Home to Google Home to stop every time. Google Home and Smart Things. And the ones I received actually work with all of the above because they are matter enabled. Today, I'm excited to review the Smart Wings Smart Shades for you so you can make an educated decision on whether you should get some or not. Spoiler alert, you should. Now, full disclosure, Smart Wings did send these shades out for me to review. They sent me three shades, two different colors. One's right here next to me in my studio. But rest assured, I always give honest feedback and this review is no different. Now, before I jump into the review, I recently did a full unboxing and setup video, which you can find right here. I'll also link it down in the description so you can see just how the setup goes and what you can expect when you order your very own. Now, I have been working to fully automate the main level of our new home for about a year now. And really the final piece of the puzzle for me was these windows in my dining room. I wanted something that looked great, but didn't break the bank and honestly really liked the blinds we had there that came with the house. But when I started to dig into what Smart Wings has to offer, I was truly impressed by the variety of colors, materials, and styles. They offer a massive range so you're sure to find your style. And as for the breaking the bank part, I was very impressed at just how affordable these are. Comparable shades from Lutron would run about $930 to get one shade, a remote control, and the hub to enable smart home control. And as far as I could tell, the only options they had were to leave them constantly plugged in, install a new junction box, or run them on D batteries. Now the Smartwing shades themselves came in at about $300 per shade for the dimensions that I had for these windows, plus $30 for a remote control. No hub required, no batteries required. If I wanted to add a solar panel for the sake of never having to charge them, I could for an extra $50. However, I opted not to do that. Now, I personally have never used Smart Shades because of the price tag, but if Lutron's shades are anywhere close to as reliable as any of their other products, you can expect them to be rock solid. However, I have seen zero connection issues with my Smart Wings, and they come in at about a third of the price. Installation was a breeze. Now, like I said, I'll link the full installation video down below, but once I got my old blinds down, I simply marked my installation location inside my windows. Now, side note, you can also have them made for outside the window mounting, however you're supposed to say that. And then I used the included hardware to screw the brackets to the window frame. After that, I easily popped the shades onto the brackets and that was it. No way. Is that easy? Love that. This could probably be done in as little as 10 minutes if your old blinds are as easy to remove as mine were. Now, adding devices to my smart home was as easy as adding any device with a code that you scan with your phone. So it says to press and hold the P1 button on the motor head for six seconds until the motor jogs twice, then release the button. When the red LED light is on, it indicates you have entered the pairing mode. Simply scan it and walk through the process of adding to your home, and next thing you know, you're controlling your blinds from the home app and creating automations. For these shades in the dining room, I went ahead and made these a group in home kit. If you don't know how to do that, it's actually extremely easy. You're simply going to select the first device that you want to add to the group and then tap settings. Then tap group with other accessories, select the accessories you want, and then you're just gonna name the group and tap done. And now you can control both devices at once. I love this for these shades because typically I don't want them at different heights. I want them to go up and down at the same time. As far as battery life goes on these shades, Smartwing says you should get several months on a single charge. And like I mentioned before, you can add a solar panel so you never have to plug them in. I really like that in Apple Home, I can see the battery percentage right there, and I'm pretty sure they're around the same as when I installed them about a week ago. When it's time to charge them, I can run a cable to them or I can easily remove them by using those spring-loaded clips and plug them in. It should take about six hours to fully charge from zero. Now let's talk noise level. Compared to some of the other devices in my home, like the SwitchBot Curtain 3 and the SwitchBot Blind Tilt, these aren't the quietest. But let's be honest here, they're not disturbing us either. Now, if you find it's too loud, you can easily change the motor speed using the remote. But for us, I don't find it to be too loud. I think it's just fine. Now, speaking of the remote, we got the five channel remote. They also have a 15 channel remote and a really cool dial remote. But the five channel was enough for us as we only got three shades. It comes pre-programmed, which is nice. And you can toggle through the channels indicated by light at the top or you can control all the shades that are programmed to the remote, which is really nice. 
Now, naturally, the remote went off to the side when I started creating automations and smart buttons, but it's really nice to have for if we have guests over and they don't really know which buttons to press, or if I need a physical controller due to an internet outage or something. Now, as far as automating the shades, I currently have them set up to open at sunrise, close to 50% at sunset, and close all the way at 8 p.m., and I've done all this through HomeKit. I also have them in my movie scene so that when I enable that scene, they close all the way. I may tweak some of these to have them open when I turn off my movie scene or open when I open my bedroom door in the morning, but for the time being, I'm just enjoying the time-based automations. I have also added a flick button here so that it can be pressed once to close, twice to open halfway, and held to open all the way. The flick button is just smaller, less apparent, and is easier to hide in this space than the remote would be. Overall, I'm really happy with the smart wing shades. I think on paper they stack up really well against the competition, and even better in a lot of areas, specifically price. They operate smooth, are quiet, and they don't look techy so they blend in well with our home aesthetic. I truly have no gripes about these shades. I love everything about them. Thanks again to Smart Wings for sending out these shades for me to review. I'll drop a link down in the description right below the like and subscribe button for you to grab some for yourself. If this video was helpful for you to make your decision, hit that like button for me and consider subscribing as we're doing videos every week in 2024. Hey, before you go, here's the unboxing and setup video I mentioned earlier, and here's a video that YouTube seems to think you'll like. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.